jacketing here. I was not expecting to be making a video today because uh, it is Tuesday and Tuesday supposedly is my study day. But uh, last night, a Facebook post caught my attention because it said at Gingerman Raceway this weekend in four days, there is going to be a track day and the entrance fee for the event is $100. I kid you not, $100 for a whole day of track day. That's not a deal I can pass up. As a racing driver, I physically cannot pass up that kind of a deal. So obviously I've decided to go. But the problem is, my S2000 is not exactly in uh, thrashable conditions, let's put it that way. Some of the things need tidying up, we need an oil change, that's why I'm going to grab oil. And I need to get all of this done with a very tight schedule because tomorrow I have classes from 9 to 5 I have no time Thursday I have a bit of time Friday gotta get ready last minute and Saturday boom track day see my point so everything is really really jammed in at the moment and uh, I'm gonna try and get this car prepped as much as I can before then also I need to swap off these rims because these are the winter tires on a, on a racetrack winter tires are probably just gonna be burnt to a crisp in no time Anyways, I'll take you along, as ever, uh, to show you all my shenanigans and adventure. First, we need to do an oil change. Second, there is one missing bolt for uh, my brake cooling kits. It's not called a brake duct, but I'll show you what it is and I'll install it in, in probably in a little bit. I also need to add an extra nut to my master cylinder brace because with one, it's really flimsy and it doesn't really hold itself in position. Uh, change the wheels and tires, install the cool brake cooling kits, trunk is pretty clean, put in all the jacks, tools, uh, charge up lap timers, all of those, and then bring my race gears, and that's probably about it, I think. Oil, new oil. They gave me a bit of a scare. They told me, uh, oh no, you know, there's a transmission leak underneath there. Took me down on the side, and the guy goes, Oh, that's just where I leaked oil from when I free poured it and accidentally leaked a bit underneath. So yeah, that saved me a minor heart attack. Imagine if I had a transmission leak and oil, oil got out of from the gearbox on the track day and bang, go, bye bye gearbox. It is now Thursday. I just want to work you through what I'm doing right now. So as you can tell, oh, uh, as you can see, that's the master cylinder brace. This secondary bolt inside here was not there. So. What happened was, this first nut punched against this side where the thread ended and it basically became the controller for this whole rod and I can't get it out. So I had to add a second one because this one will now punch against this side to hold this master cylinder brace in place. Haven't adjusted it, I need to tighten down these nuts and master cylinder brace should be good to go. Alright, that should be tightened down. It's really stiff. These are torqued. This one is really tight, like that's... That's not going anywhere. I, I am actually trying to shake it here as much as I can. It doesn't move. That's perfect. That's gonna help all of my braking. No more master cylinder movements. No, no for you. Have fun. Now you join me on Friday. Uh, number one thing we need to take care of is the tires. Mm. This one's not center. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Just stay away from me. Status update. Old rims, winter rims, also 15 mil wall spacer. New rims. AV2 V1s with rig special badges, Pilot Super Sports, and no spaces because, well, 225 tires wouldn't fit the fender without, you know, oh well. Oh well. Rear looks good too. Mmm, I'm liking these AP2 V1s. I didn't take time to explain these. Brake cooling air guide, I think. So what they do is they bolt onto the lower control arm. One player on the top, one player on the bottom. Air comes in from underneath the car. Moves to this thing, we angle this thing right like so. Air wah, moves into there. Oh, that's, that's a tie rod. Moves in somewhere there and into the brake disc and cools this thing. Technically, that is now the lowest point on this car. It's even lower than a front splitter, which 
It's not a good omen on the streets of Ann Arbor, let's be honest. Everything is set. Let's see if these tires work. Feels pretty good. I think they're round. Oh wait, I think the steering is a lot lighter. Not bad. Traction control! <laughs> So responsive. <laughs> Front tire side a bit under there. Understandable. I give it a lot of steering and a lot of power. <laughs> 